you know what they say? You know what they say? If it's for free, stop yelling. Then it's for me. Action. Welcome to Freedom Fridays, brought to you by Freedomists. I'm yep. Daniel Myers here with Madison Crane and Lim Reber. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to do some Comet Wars Rhetorical Fallacy Edition. Mm. So, what is a rhetorical fallacy, Lemon? I'm Reaver? so glad you asked, Madison Crane. A mm. fallacy, according to Wikipedia, you can trust to everything they say. A fallacy, also called a sophism, is the use of invalid or otherwise faulty reasoning. Faulty. Or quote unquote <sighs> wrong moves in the construction of an argument. We all use these rhetorical fallacies from time to time. We so, do. what we want to do today is know what these rhetorical fallacies are better so that we don't do them ourselves, yes. and so also when someone else is doing it, we yes. can know what's going on. Yes, then you can look down your long nose and tell them that they're wrong, because you know what, that's that's really what it's no, all don't about. Do that's that. what we stand for. That's very bad advice. Yes. Okay, so Daniel and Lem have found some examples of these rhetorical fallacies on social media, and they have 60 seconds to present them, and I have to decide which example was better. Oh, based upon what standard? My opinion, yeet! Oh, well that sounds um, reasonable. <laughs> Disclaimer, so. the comments that we read do not reflect our personal views. We're just finding not. comments of people they that said things. Oh. It's probably good for the people to keep in mind that whoever loses this competition between me and Lem gets punched in the face. Ah! No, I, know, I think it's your turn. Ah! Uh, some okay, round one. The appeal to emotion. Ah. This is the manipulation of the recipient's emotions in order to win an argument, especially in the absence of factual evidence. Mm. Okay, one. Two, right. three, go. All right, this comes from Dona Tuscalica on our Instagram account. She says, mm, he says, source. whatever they are says, it's weird how you talk bad about slavery, but then proceed to tell women to do things unwillingly. Women's uteruses are not the state's property. These kids will grow up to ask, mommy, why are we poor? And she'll have nothing to say except because we're slaves. Wow, this oh. is intense. This is, I, I will say, an incredibly effective use of appeal to emotion, partly because they're ending with the emotion, so it's the last thing you're gonna remember. You're not even gonna remember the fact it wasn't logical. Oh. But in reality, <laughs> this is completely oh. illogical because they're saying, hey, you should feel bad for this little child who's gonna look up their mom and say, hey, why are we poor? When in reality, they're arguing that it's that same little child that should have been um, terminated, aka killed. Uh, so when it comes to feeling bad for that child, really, I think pro-life probably uh, takes the cake on that. But very effective use of appeal to emotion covers a multitudes, multitudes mm. of illogical um, inconsistencies. Five seconds. And uh, that's my case. Lemuel, it's your turn. Yes. You have 60 seconds. Oh, I if see. If you go over, you lose. All right. Here we go. Well. Uh, One, two, three. I mean, I'm quite famous and infamous for my good use of time management, so mm. I'm sure this will be fine. Yeah. Um, so, aka. Carla. It's Carla. Carla. There's two A's. Uh, at responded to at Alex the Cat Dino. Not sure what that looks like, but uh, you don't sympathy for does kids. <laughs> dot dot dot. Yeah, I mean, you a Trump supported. Y'all have cold hearted and don't care no one by just themselves. I mean, I think this. I think this comment speaks for itself. The uh, the use of sympathy here is pretty uh, pretty incredible, pretty heart melting. Uh, I think uh, for me personally, uh, you don't sympathy for does kids. I think this had something to do with a post uh, about kids at the border. Uh, I could be could be wrong. This seconds. was not actually found on our personal social media accounts. Um, but I mean, yeah, there's sympathy dripping all over this thing. They really pulled my heart. That. Um, it, it almost, almost was so Three, heart melting two. that it distracted me from all the grammar. Um, so much grammaring going on in this, uh, this post. Hey, you stopped and then you kept talking. Uh, um, Daniel's answer was very substantial. Um, a lot of substance. Yes. But it didn't. Substance? It like the got kind of substance that gets you rolling more than to jail? Anything. I have to admit though, like a lot of people really overuse punctuation. No problems here. <laughs> By the wisdom in my brain, I okay. determined Daniel wow. wins this round because. Yes. Yeah. She's really trying it's, to pull in your emotions. It's a yes. brilliant use. So Daniel wins this Perfect. round. Perfect, you said. Good job, Daniel. Okay, round two, mm. ad hominem. Mm. Ad hominem. This is trying to undermine the opponent's arguments by personal attacks. So it looks like Lem goes first this round. Mm. Go I for see. it. Um, well, thank you, Madison. Yeah, you're welcome. Go yes. for it. Yes, oh, thanks for nothing. I don't have any points yet. Okay, so uh, personal attacks, like you're talking about, uh, ad hominem. Uh, I think that's Latin, isn't it Latin? Yes. Latin for something, something uh, important, I'm sure. Um, Is it though? Yeah, uh, let me do some you're, quick you're, research you're, to find out. Okay, seconds. so um responded to at the tip, at the dot typical dot repub. I took one look 
A, your bio, and knew everything you say would be absolute crap. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing that quite, seconds. you know, I mean, you know, when you're talking about people's Instagram bios, like, that's very personal to them. Like, if you go and you're like, oh, I want to know more about this person, all you have is that profile pic and that bio. That is personal to them. Yeah. And they took a look, and they're like, you know what, it's crap, whatever you have to say. I mean, that's pretty ad hominem. That's pretty, that's pretty terrible, you know? Like, if you did that in real life, all you have to do is to, like, literally just glance at people. Like, people in their bio, like, in real life, their bio is just, like, looking at them. And it's like, oh yeah, Madison, I can I can tell that everything out of your mouth's gonna be absolute crap. It's terrible, terrible. I'm not a good Mine argument. Isn't, isn't... I'm glad that you use homonym. the judge as the example yeah. for Didn't the really butt of that, that joke. Mm. I like that. Cheer up, uh. says the Robin uh. for your love. My bio Wouldn't is that be literally terrible? aligned to a very famous hymn. Oh. My faith has found a resting place. Oh, I and then it says my boyfriend's name at the bottom. Well, I'm telling you, I knew. So I'm glad you think that my boyfriend is absolute crap. And no, 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 no. I didn't say I didn't say your boyfriend is absolute crap. I'm just saying that by that you logic, might as well have. everything that you now say is absolute crap. Are you That's trying to I'm say saying. that your boyfriend is your final resting place? No. Oh. There's a little oh. sun emoji. And oh. A heart emoji. Heresy alert. I, Daniel, it's your turn. All right, let's do this. Here we go. All right. It, it pains me to to even share this one because. Uh, <laughs> Lim got the easy road. He got to take something random that didn't even apply to him. Mine is directly attacking me. Oh, it's okay, personal. this is to me. It's personal. Uh, I have beef with whoever this mm. is that said this. Mm. Um, you need some icy hot. Whose name will remain anonymous for <laughs> obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. To us, but not. It, you'll never know. Well, um, maybe blur out that. Thing. Yes, we will. Uh, so he says this is on a video that I put on Instagram a long time ago, and it has nothing to do with this seconds. at all. He says, "Why do you look like a dolphin on meth?" <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. Why do you look like a dolphin? Do you need some lotion for that burn? What is with this man? Oh, maybe a massage. What is with... <laughs> this has nothing to do with what I had to say. Hey, this yeah. is just a, a totally <laughs> senseless attack but on me. But it's different if it's completely accurate. You're not part of this. Oh. You're not Ten part seconds. of this. Okay. This is my time. Nine, okay. Don't eight. steal my you time. Your time. That's ad hominem if I've ever seen it. Mm. Okay. Well, I don't think that's applicable because literally, listen, like, no, it's, no, no, a, no. it's in the rule book. You don't listen to people that look like a dolphin on meth. It's like rule four or five. Okay, so this is an easy one for me. Okay. Lemuel uh, is the winner. Uh, oh, yes, yes, round. see, the people do not. Because uh. I was thinking about it. Daniel, yes, that is a personal attack, mm. but it's not an argument. He's not arguing anything you're saying. And I agree with him. Well, why do you look like a In his dolphin? defense, well, I would give him a defense, but I want the point. <laughs> Maybe it's not an insult. I mean, what's so wrong about looking like a, a, a dolphin? On, everybody loves dolphins. Everybody loves You're saying dolphins. that it's a logical, it's a it's a logical, uh, not fallacy. I'll take that as a compliment. A log, a Here we go, round three. The no true Scotsman fallacy. This mm. appeals to the purity of an ideal or standard as a way to dismiss relevant criticisms or flaws in your argument. Here we go, Let's one, two, three. All right, Brother Joe, Brother this Joe? one's dedicated to you oh, uh, yes. for being our favorite Brother Joe trope. Here oh, we go. He says, at bad. Freedomus, additionally, please give me your take on why our Christian government should not help the less fortunate financially. UBI probably isn't the way to go. I wouldn't need it, and you may not need it, but shouldn't be shouldn't it be dispersed to people who are legitimately in mm. need? Jesus helped people. The founding apostles made certain to distribute wealth in the first century church. If we are truly a Christian country and trust in God, we have to help the less fortunate. First of all, this is a straw man because we don't believe uh -huh. that we shouldn't help the less fortunate. But nope. secondly, it's a no true Scotsman because he's saying if we're truly a Christian country, then we have to do this. If we aren't doing this, this specific thing that I prescribe that I think we should do, then we must not truly be a Christian country. And, oh. that's, and, and that's his whole case. All built on a no true Scotsman. Thank you, Brother Joe, for being a great example of a terrible argument. But you know what? At the end of the day, we love you. We, we love thank Brother you. Joel because he actually makes us think. Yes. Seven and you, seconds. You do a good job, reasonably. Brother Joel. You do a good job. I, I like it. All right. No true Scotsman. Lemuel, go. All right. So we had a response from Beth7401 at 18 Shiloh. And she, if, uh, in fact, she, Beth is a she, uh, said, <laughs> yes, period. <laughs> I have a huge problem with it. And if you were a real Christian, Oh, well, I yelled. She didn't put in all caps, but if you were a real Christian, yeah, added for emphasis, you know. You would too. This is this is administration is immoral. And anyone who calls themselves a Christian and supports it is a hypocrite. Hypocr Your period, president, period, separated, period, children, period, from, period, their, period, families, period, and, period, put, period, then, period, in, period, concentration, period, camps, oh. period. Oh, wow. Oh wow! So uh, they ran out of periods now at the uh, at the uh, at the warehouse. You can Jesus seconds. and unborn me all you want. If you support Trump, then you support the dehumanization of brown people. Hypocrite. Ten seconds. Um, Eight. Basically, if we Seven. don't agree with her and her political uh, aspersions, you're not a real question. You're not a true. 
enough Christian for her standards for Beth. Um, I appreciate your passion though. That's a lot of periods as well. <laughs> so I have a hard time with Daniel's. Whoa, 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 what? Because, because it's Brother huh. Joel. Oh. Brother Joel, hey! Yeah, don't be hating on Brother Joel. The thing about oh. Brother Joel is that he you know wants what? to know our take. He's continuing okay. He wants to know our opinion. That's key. Now, That's Lem's true. comment here, she is grumpy. So Lem wins that round. Yay! Woo! Round four, the anecdotal fallacy. The anecdotal oh. fallacy is the use of anecdotal evidence or isolated examples that rely on personal testimonies to support or refute a claim. Hmm. Okay, who goes first on this anecdotal? I think L uh, Lem goes first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, here we go. So anecdotal evidence, uh, we had, I'm gonna post from Chester W. Fritz, um, and this was presented in all caps, so I think it's only appropriate to uh, to do what all caps means uh, in uh, when you hear it, that means it's just yelling, right? Okay. So it's just written yelling. Uh, okay. here, so here we go. Where's the money, Joe? Did uh, Hunter get all of it? Lol, guess it's hidden in your basement like you. Come on, man. You're lucky if you have 15 people at your events. Most of them are lamestream media that are protecting you. Hash, hashtag, hashtag's not capitalized, so uh, hashtag. Walk away from the, from the Democrat party. Vote Republican come November 3rd. 20 seconds. Uh, lots of uh, American flags and- um, Checkered flags. Checkered flags, NASCAR flags, whatever. Trump 2020 checkered flags. Um, American flags. Uh, this is okay. There's yeah. multiple anecdotal evidence uh, factors here, but especially if you have 15 people at your events, the stuff you see on TV, that doesn't necessarily reflect the views of 330 million one. Americans. Um, anecdotal, faux show. Okay, one, um, two, all right, let's do this. three, go. All right, this comes uh, from three underscore Stokesy. Is that how you say that? Yeah, I don't know. I, Please I let us so. know below. Hmm. All right, I come from a country with state-owned healthcare, UK, and it works insanely well. No, that's just, that's an insane claim. I mean, it's a great claim. Hmm. Uh, keep that in mind, Judge. Hmm. It works insanely well. I once oh. broke my arm in the remote. I once broke my arm. This is a great story. In the remote islands of Shetland. I wonder how they broke their arm. Hey. I went to hospital, was x-rayed, they found the break and needed to do an operation. They couldn't do that in Shetland, so they tried to, I'm sorry Shetland, um, straight out of doctors there. So they tried to arrange passenger flights for me and my teacher to Aberdeen on the mainland. That's important information. When they couldn't do that, they called in an air ambulance. I flew out at 3 a.m., was operated on in Aberdeen at 9 a.m., all having broken my arm at 6 p.m. the previous day. They kept me overnight with regular checks. The bill is exactly nothing. I'm very happy that your bill is exactly nothing. I hope your arm is actually uh, functional at this point. Mm. Um, but what I have to say is, if you're going to impose a whole Five. healthcare system upon millions and millions of other people, please Two. give us more evidence than one particular instance that you had that didn't really seem to actually go that well to me. Okay. Okay. Man, there's so much more I wanted to say. Oh, well, so much! Technically, you can say more I as you're arguing. Yeah, that's because apparently, that's I'm okay. I'm gonna need some help with this one because apparently. that was really good, but that was also really good. Oh, that was really that's funny. Really good. And, Hang on a second. Do you see something hanging out of my nose? No. Oh, yes. No, I do. Oh, see oh my gosh. Get it out of there! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't really look like much of an argument. It kind of just looked like he was sharing oh, his experience and his personal opinion. I could be wrong, but I'm the judge. So I'm giving <laughs> Lev oh. Oh. The, the win on Whoa! Whoa! Like, Whoa! I really That's... like that. I really like that you comment. Like it. It's yeah. so funny It's yelling? Me. There's so much yelling and, you okay, can't even he's like, concentrate he's on like, what he's saying. Guess it's hidden in your basement like you. Uh, th 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 that's th so th funny th to me. Uh, uh, I think <laughs> that you're so opinionated. Like very sarcastic. <laughs> uh, it's time for Daniel, who's a loser, to get punched. Are we ready punched. to be punched? Punched. All right, let's punch, let's punch him. Ah. It's time. It's time. Time for the punch. I don't like it. It's time I, for the I punch. Like Close it. your eyes now. Like Close it. your eyes now. No. No. <laughs> okay. I don't like it. Okay. I don't like losing. All right. Well, you just got punched. And we all just got punched. Yes, my computer just got <laughs> punched. Oh my gosh. Kind of like pants. politics. Everyone loses in a My pants are wet. Who cares okay, about your pants? My, my computer. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm cold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he just got punched with punch. It's like getting a pie to the face. I mean, all right. It's not such okay. a bad thing. Well, it's well okay. The... One time I dropped an entire chicken pot pie on my computer and it still works. What? So there should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the scar on my leg to show it, actually. Thank you. I'm just like splashing scar. my hands on the punch on this table. Hey, why are my eyebrows crunchy? It's like this punch just dried into <laughs> crunchified my eyebrows, like eternally. Maybe you should not lose competition. I don't want crunchy <laughs> eyebrows for the rest for of my you. life. Uh, uh, All right, thank you for watching mm. and uh, watching me be d destroyed and punched in the face. Yes. I hope that uh, 
Emotional destruction. I hope physical that, destruction. I hope all that, the destruction. Which you? I hope that you learned these rhetorical fallacies. There are many more that we'll try to rec that we'll try to cover in the future videos. Yes. But uh, try to learn these four so that you can, number one can stop using them in your own conversations and try to have healthier, more productive conversations because that's what this is really about. Check out the rest of our content on our channel. Also check us out on freedomist.us, freedomists.us, and learn more about who we are. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, stop yelling and start thinking. I need comfort. Sing oh. to me. <laughs> this is not making me happier. You're a really biased judge. I'm taking this guitar I'm away. I'm a biased judge, but that's yes, because yes. I'm... Daniel got punched, and now his eyebrows crunch. Look at some examples. Yes, so yes. I this coffee is horrid. Dump Thanks. it in the hostas.